you guys script to be here with another video and so of course we all know the act like got cancelled and that's sort of what this is about um but there's a lot more to it than that as well firstly i'll just say that it didn't technically get cancelled people are saying oh well it didn't technically get cancelled didn't have a season two well there's two problems with that because they ended it very very open-ended with Plagueis and Yoda and the story being completely, you know, May's mind was wiped and and she's now with the Jedi and Coruscant. Like, everything's wide open. Nothing has been settled. And we still don't know the connection of uh, the green bald-headed chick and, and Kamir, and we don't know how much she knew, and we don't know how big the lie is going to be told is. And we like, there's a ton of open-ended stuff. So... They, so they didn't get, they didn't green light it for more than one season and yet approved this storyline. So they must have had some form of confidence that it was going to actually end up going forward from a first season. Either that or they're just seriously stupid. If you weren't going to green light it for more than one season, why would you ever allow it to end on that before you release it? If you're thinking to yourself, oh, we're pr- we may not do more seasons. And that's why you only gave it one. And you didn't technically give it more than one. So I think that's why people are using the term cancelled. Because it feels like a cancellation. Like they're, they're stopping it right in the middle of the story. It, it, it was a failure. It was a failure. It wasn't good. It was stupid. People didn't like it. And <clears throat> the thing about, about it too that really hurt it and this is what I wanted to talk about was I think it was a bad show regardless I think it it wasn't going to be popular no matter what but you go into it making everything about immutable characteristics and talking about racism this and bigots this and diversity this instead of worrying about just making a good show you made it all about Diversity and inclusion, every interview for a year leading up to it, all the Comic-Con stuff, all the interviews, it was all like, we're so diverse, there's so many women, there's non-binary people in the cast, we got minorities everywhere, and it's just like, how about just do that and don't talk about it? Because constantly talking about it kind of pisses people off, because people just want good content, they don't care about what any of these people are doing in their personal lives. No one cares. Oh, well, we hired the first lesbian direct. No one cares what Leslie Headland does in her personal life. No one cares. Just make a good show. Oh, and then we're, our main lead is non-binary and she's a minority. Don't talk. No one cares. No one cares about Amanda Stenberg's personal life and who she sleeps with. <laughs> like, why do you guys... It's so funny because you're like, you know... These bigots always are so concerned with what's going on in our bedrooms. And it's like, you guys bring it up. You guys can't stop talking about it. You love, obviously, to talk about it and make it a big deal. So if you don't want people talking about it, then don't bring it up. And if you don't want people talking about it as the show progresses, you're the one who marketed it on that. So people are going to talk about it. So I want to go back to the very beginning. New Star Wars series, the Acolyte, review bombed by bigots and angry fans amid, amid woke backlash. So it has to be bigots. And I just want to say, um, before I go any further as well, on Twitter it's hilarious because there's these guys that are always like, look at this, the episode hasn't even come out yet, and look at all the people giving it a bad review. And then you look at how many reviews it has, and the, and they're one star, but how many of them? It's like, it'll be like 70, 80. So there's literally like 80 people out there in the world that are doing this before the show drops. And then there'll be like, 1500 reviews or 2000 reviews or 3000 reviews and these guys make this huge deal about these 75 80 people that are out there doing that like that doesn't make a dent in it so no it has nothing to do with those guys so this is back this is june 25th so what after like a handful of episodes or whatever Disney Star Wars series has been reviewed by people angry about the diversity in the show, with many people Googling, why is the Acolyte getting hate? How does people Googling, why is the Acolyte getting hate, mean that people are review bombing it because of because of the diversity in the show? How does that connect? The Acolyte is the lowest user scored product in 50 years of Star Wars history. Yes. 
quadruple the reviews of the longest running Star Wars series, The Clone Wars. Uh, it's been okay. Three weeks it, at this point, it had been running for three weeks, and is thirteen percent. IMBD rating is three point three out of ten, and fifty eight percent of the sixty six thousand reviewers awarding it just one star. Forbes says the <laughs> the low approval ratings are linked to the racism, misogyny, and overall harassment of the cast, which has poisoned every conversation about the show. The series has faced backlash after casting trans, non-binary, and black actors. From who? From who? Show me the receipts. Amanda Stenberg, who plays twin sisters Osha and May, is gay and black, while Abigail Thorne made history by becoming the sci-fi franchise's first trans actress. Who the heck was that? I don't even know. Whatever. See, like again, like who cares? It's not... You know, <laughs> I made history... Like, no one cares. Other stars who identify as LGBTQ include... Okay, so there's a whole bunch of gay people on Les- and lesbian Leslie Headland show. Like, whoop-de-doo. The plot itself contains queer themes with a recent episode featuring a female Force-sensitive couple. Almost like, you know, queer themes. Yeah, that's very Star Wars. So it couldn't be that people are just like, why are you putting this in Star Wars? It has to be they're bigots. Either you accept it and love that we put all this, st- all these themes... In Star Wars, you're a bigot, even though that's not Star Wars. Never has been. You see what I'm saying? It's very strange. Uh, Headland said, I stand by my empathy for Star Wars fans, but I want to be clear. Anyone who engages in bigotry, racism, or hate speech, I don't consider a fan. Okay, where is the hate speech? So then Amanda Stenberg said that there's a very specific kind of Star Wars fan who's vo- very vocal on the internet. They call our show the Wokalite, which I'm like, okay, what about it? Exactly, because that's what it is. So... Don't complain if people don't like the show because that's what it is when you're literally saying, yeah, that's what it is. That's what you promoted it on. That's what I don't understand about these people. Like, you chose to do this. So when people are like, hey, I don't really like that you're changing Star Wars into woke. Oh, you're a bigot. Like, you did this. No one made you do this. Prejudice on some level, of course, affects me, even if it's subconsciously. And there's work that I need to do around that to protect myself. But in my conscious mind, it doesn't bother me because... It's stupid and kind of funny. Well, is it bigotry? Like, do you have receipts? Do you have receipts? And so this is another thing I just want to talk about really quick, too, relating to this, is this is back on July 10th. So this is after, whatever, five episodes. And then she goes on The View. She goes on The View, and the host claims she's been targeted because of the inclusive casting, and that as a result, she has received horrific racist backlash, including threats and what you'd call intolerable racism. And the reason I'm talking about this is because the 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 level of like what they're calling racism now is making the word meaningless. Like if there was legit actual stuff like that, show me the receipts. Hundred percent. She's never shown any receipts, by the way, of all these supposed racist comments. But calling stuff that isn't is, is just, you're making the word meaningless, and then no one's going to care when you use it, because it's going to be like, oh yeah, sure it is, yeah, mm-hmm, sure, maybe they just don't like the show, right? Um, it's been very painful to me. It's not something that I think you can emotionally prepare for, she said, Stenberg said. Welcome criticism of the show when it comes to storytelling or performance, when it comes to death threats, horrific, violent, racist language, it's something show us, Amanda. I don't know anyone that's ever shown these comments, ever. Where are they? If they were out there, you'd be able to find them. And I can't find them. I'm tr- I tried this morning to find them, and I couldn't find them. Where are they? Are they on some obscure Reddit thread that you would only see if you literally, like, took the time to go in there and read them? Because if that's the case, who cares? Like, just ignore it. Unless it's directly at you, like, on your posts, then just ignore it. They're just idiots. And I've had to think really deep about how hard about when you display discipline and when you... Okay, anyways. I decided that... Okay, who cares about that? So then, today, the day after The Acolyte Season 2 was, uh, I guess not cancelled, but shown the door. <laughs> then you get people like this, and this is what I'm talking about. You're, you're, you're using a word, and you're making it meaningless. These are just some of the comments under a manless Stenberg's latest Instagram post. Yet another black Star Wars actor getting harassed, and not a single word from Lucasfilm to denounce it. Is this the audience you want to pander to? Okay, so this person, Noah, is going to show, and this post is only 
this is from this morning. So this person is clearly going to go through the comments and select the worst comments, right? If you're gonna, if you want to give an example of of harassment, you're gonna you're gonna do your best to give the the, the best example. You're not gonna like put mundane comments, right? But check this out. Let's see how bad these comments are. How does it feel to have your terrible show canceled, Princess? Wow, that's that's horrible. That's horrible. That's just incredibly like wow. Racism. Take the L and never do Star Wars again. Still waiting for that bigotry comment. Okay, <laughs> go to the next one. My grandfather has been disabled for 29 years. I had him watch an episode and he walked over to turn off the TV. Thanks for the miracle. That looks like a criticism of the show to me. Thank God this show is canceled. One of the worst things to come out of Disney Star Wars. Again, sounds like a just criticize, a criticism of the show to me. So so was season two canceled because the show sucked or because everyone is racist? See, and this guy gets it. He's saying, like, maybe it just sucks. So far, no, nothing racist whatsoever. And this guy's saying that it's harassment. And it's because she's black. First of all, she's half white. Let's get, you know, let's get, stop this half white people are automatically black people stuff. They're mixed. This isn't even really harassment even, let alone racism. It's, it's nothing. It's just people saying the show sucked. So glad this dog poo of a show full of woke a- agenda bullcrap is over. Terrible effing actress, terrible director, and terrible effing show. Okay, so he just hates the show and thinks you're a crappy actor. That's not, like, that's not racism. I'm sorry. The power of one, the power of two, the power of real fans got this show canceled. Hope you save that Disney check. So many deleted comments, the power of many. <laughs> so, again, I, I, I'm not seeing what she's talking about. Hope your ego took the hit it needed. Maybe learn to accept criticism next time before acting like a victim. The writing was bad and that's why it was bad. It, yeah, and that's <clears throat> that's where I'm at. Like, when she came out with that stupid video, the the discourse or whatever video... I was like, uh, okay. She, this is her explaining the, the, the video she put on Instagram. And so, well, I dropped a diss track. Ha ha ha. I dropped a diss track about it and it's called Discourse. And it really is about, of course, what I've been experiencing. She explained, but it's also about the divisiveness of the culture and how difficult for, for all of us to navigate information in this new era. It's so difficult to tell what is true, you know, online. And I will say, if, if you haven't seen the video, she's basically like, like going after people that are criticizing the show and criticizing her. Like, that's not a smart way to try and win fans, is to attack them. But this is what this is the 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 level of arrogance that these people that are involved with Disney have been doing for a long time. So they they make it whatever diverse or whatever, then. If people criticize the show, then they come out and say, oh, no, you're bigots. Because they're so arrogant, they think they were so good, and the show was so good, and her acting was so awesome, there's no possible way that anybody could ever not like it. So if you didn't like it, you're a bigot. And they've done this so many times that everybody knows this now. So when you come out with a a diss track to diss fans of Star Wars that watched your show and didn't like it, you're kind of taking a dump where you eat that's a really stupid move these online algorithms they shape our realities or our thinking and clickbait journalism these algorithms also profit from our rage and and our hatred and i feel like that's something we are aware of but we don't necessarily have enough discourse or infrastructure around it because it's so new but that you did that though like your diss track is made to you know is, is 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 rage so like you're doing the exact same thing and then, okay, and then this guy, ha, 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 canceled. So where's the where where's the bigotry in any of these? So you're just a bigot if you say a black person's acting sucks. You're a bigot if you say uh, uh, somebody from the LGBTQ or whatever did a bad job writing a show. You're a bigot. So anyway, you know, Disney didn't made the right move. They canceled it. They have to stop. They have to muzzle their, their actors and actresses like Rachel Zegler, right? All because of her yappy stupidity. You know, they've had a lot of marketing problems for Snow White. It's going to absolutely bomb. They they need to stop hiring adults with the minds of, like, 13, 14-year-old junior high people that are, like, super emotional and freak out. 
Like, honestly, it's not smart. It's not helping you. And stop, for the love of God, giving these types of people these massive budgets to do these shows that are no good at all. And they're not, it was a bad show. And that doesn't, these guys are not bigots because they, they're making fun of a crappy show. You're allowed to make fun of a crappy show. It's a free country. Again, you're diminishing racism into nothingness by doing that. Flooded with nasty comments. So what? You put yourself out there, you're going to get comments. Like, you know, any old YouTuber, you know, Star Wars theory, right? He gets a lot of views. <laughs> And he gets a lot of nasty comments. He gets every, all sides. It doesn't mean people are bigots. Some of the comments are just dumb, but that doesn't mean it has anything to do with bigotry. Anyone who puts themselves out there is going to get criticized. You're publicly putting yourself out there. If you can't handle it, then go away. Uh, this is, of course, far from the first time toxic segments of the Star Wars fandom have tried to bully women and non-white actors into hyperspace. They did it to The Last Jedi's Kelly Marie Tran, yeah, who never provided receipts. She never showed any of the comments. She said it happened to her and never showed any of the comments. Sorry, until you give me the receipts, I don't believe you. And they did it to John Boyega before her. Again, never saw the receipts. I don't believe you. The only receipts I saw about John Boyega was Disney shrinking him on the poster for China, just like they did with Black Panther, taking him off the poster. That's coming from inside the company and Boyega himself talking about what he experienced inside the company. As far as like outside the like social media, show me the receipts, man. No one ever does. Neither does Amanda. Where is it? I haven't seen it. This also won't come as a surprise, but the issue isn't remotely endemic to the galaxy far, far away. Last week, Last of Us co-star Isabel Marced revealed that the season two lead needed extra security while filming because there are people that actually genuinely hate her character who is not a real person. Again, in, until you show me receipts that you're getting threatened physically, I don't believe you. At some point, we need to come up with a really juicy word for this specific type of a-hole. They've gotten away with calling themselves fans for far too long. No actual fan of anything would ever be caught dead acting like this. Acting like what? You haven't said what they did. You're just saying somebody did something out in the ether without providing the receipts. If these weirdos are trying to protect their favorite properties from their sole consumption... Maybe when ratings fall and cancellations mount, they'll realize that they've been the baddies all along. Again, none of these people show receipts. So all this is to me are people who do a crappy job, cannot accept that they do a crappy job, and then try to paint people who think they did a crappy job as bigots because they can't handle and their egos are too big to accept that they did a crappy job. So the only reason is because they're bigots. Anyways, guys... Uh, this is insane, and um, these people need to stop, and I'm really glad this show's canceled. Hopefully, we can just bury it. It should just be decanonized. It's causing nothing but problems, and now it's so open-ended, it's ridiculous and dumb, and never should have been made, and again, if you were ever going to make this show, and you weren't going to commit to more than one season, the fact that you allowed it to end the way it did, and that's on Kathy, and that's on Dave, that is the, they, these people are not intelligent people. That's all I can say, and who would do that? Who would do that? Well, we have no guarantee that we're going to get a second season, but make sure we end it with all these questions and nothing answered. Because we're so arrogant, we're going to get another season guaranteed, because we're the best. It's a, it's a mixture of narcissism and stupidity that is palpable, and it's running Star Wars and, well, Lucasfilm in general into the ground. Anyways, guys, uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, always help the channel. Uh, please comment down below. I'd love to hear from you what you have to say. And check out everything else on my channel. Have yourselves a really good day.